hey, uh, I'm sort of redoing a video that I just uploaded like less than a minute ago. I had to delete that one because uh, some paper on the desk here was uh, caught on camera. It was a little private. So uh, <laughs> anyway, so I remember doing this video. Um, a blessed, uh, you know, celebration of the resurrection of Christ to you. <laughs> you know, uh, a lot of people went to church today and their pastors did not preach them the gospel. And if, you know, even if they did mention the resurrection, this wonderful fact that Jesus Christ was raised again for our justification, uh, you know, it, if that was said, it, it probably went over many people's heads. They did not ponder that. They did not meditate on that. If the pastors mentioned it at all. And Jesus Christ, yes, he was delivered for our offenses and was raised again for our justification. And look, without the resurrection of Jesus Christ, there would be no Christianity. Okay. I'm not trying to be irreverent, but lots of people have been crucified throughout history. Okay. However, the resurrection, uh, you know, that that obviously sets Jesus Christ apart and proves that he indeed is God. Okay. And he was raised again. He was resurre resurrected for our justification. Remember that without the resurrection of Christ, we would not have justification. But thank God that he indeed did raise from the dead and that we could have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ by whom also we have access by faith into this grace wherein we stand and rejoice in hope of the glory of God and you know my audience here that primarily listens to my videos um, you know the, these verses here in Corinthians 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 3 and 4. You probably know them, okay? But how many times do we kind of skim through the fact that after Jesus rose again on the third day, according to the scriptures, that he was seen of above 500 brethren at once, okay? Over 500 people saw the resurrected Jesus Christ, okay? And, you know, when we get to the book of Acts, many of those people literally risked their lives, and lots of them were martyred because they wanted to tell people about the resurrected Christ, right? And look, there really, there would be no Christianity without the resurrection, you know, after Jesus got crucified, you know, Peter went fishing. And then when Jesus Christ rose from the dead, Jesus went looking for Peter. A beautiful picture of how God doesn't forsake his children. Okay. And he also literally, obviously, it's not just a picture, but he literally, he, he, he didn't forsake Peter. And... Look, hundreds of people aren't going to risk their lives telling others of something that they did not see. Okay? Nobody would do that. But these people indeed did see Jesus Christ. Many of them handled him. They spoke with him. They ate with him. They saw that he wasn't a ghost, that no, he actually had a body, 
They saw the nail prints on his hands. Okay. They saw him eat fish. Thomas saw him. You know, that's a famous story. Um... And so, look, there's an empty grave, okay? And the Pharisees can lie all they want, okay? But there's an empty grave. And Jesus Christ is in heaven, and... One day, you know, the church shall meet him in the clouds where we will ever be with our Lord. And so today, I want to encourage you to really ponder the importance of the resurrection of, of, the, of, the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Okay, because again, without the resurrection... There would be no justification, nor would there be Christianity. So thank God for the resurrection. Okay. Thank God we're able to be saved and have peace with God. And, you know, have Christ, which is, you know, Christ is the true God and eternal life. So thank God that, uh, that we can have him, that we can have eternal life. That we can have imputed righteousness, justification, sanctification, right? Be washed in the blood of Christ. Thank God that we have a blessed hope that someday uh, we're out of here and we're not appointed unto wrath. And that someday we're going to see him face to face. Um, and... Big reason of why we're going to see him face to face is because there's an empty grave. Death could not hold him. Okay. Just like that uh, that angel told uh, told Mary about Jesus, right? He, you know, he he's not here. He's risen. And uh, Amen. Okay. Have a blessed night.